If you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan, and I'm on a mission to visit all the countries in Europe. I'm currently on my way to my next country, which is Albania. Growing up in the Philippines, the first time I've heard of Albania is from an 1853 epic called Florente and Laura by a Filipino writer named Francisco Balagtas. The full title of the epic is The History of Florante and Laura in the Kingdom of Albania, which made me think that Albania might not be a real place. Albania is a country on the Balkan Peninsula in southeastern Europe. It's bordered by Montenegro, Kosovo, North Macedonia, and Greece. It also shares a maritime border with Italy and Croatia. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You. Goodbye. Good morning and welcome to the capital city of Albania, Tirana. I actually got here yesterday afternoon, but I didn't do anything. I decided to just chill at my hotel. So now I'm making up for it by waking up really early. It's only about half past eight and I'm already out and about. So let's see how many sites we can cover today. The new bazaar is the city's main source of fresh produce. The elegant roof of the market protects the sellers of olives, figs, wine, raki, and other agricultural products. Albania was used to be part of Byzantine Empire and later Ottoman Empire. It gained independence in 1912. After World War II, Albania became a communist state under Enver Hoxha and remained staunchly isolationist until its transition to democracy after 1990. During Hoxha's communist rule, he built tens of thousands of bunkers all over Albania as he was paranoid that Albania's enemy will attack any time or that a nuclear war is inevitable. These bunkers are still around today, and they've converted some of them to museums. Bunker 2 is one of them. It attempts to grapple with difficult questions and the painful history of Albania's communist past. It's probably when it's a time sitting, and then... At the cabinet office. This feels so eerie and ominous. I think because there's no one else here apart from myself as well, so that didn't help. <laughs> This is Kansberg Square. It feels like everyone goes through here in the morning and in the afternoon, everyone congregates around here. This is my favorite street in Tirana. I think it's um, pedestrianized. There's coffee shops everywhere. How long could you want to? <laughs> Being part of the Ottoman Empire back in the day, Albania is predominantly a Muslim country. However, religious communities largely exist without any animosity. Pope John Paul II even visited Tirana in 1993. Probably the most famous Albanian is Mother Teresa, and you'll see her statue or image all over the country. And I've also been told that you shouldn't speak ill of Dua Lipa and Rita Ora whilst in Albania. <laughs>
I'm in a cable car going up to the mountain that overlooks Tirana and it actually takes a lot to get here <laughs> it's quite a journey first you have to take the bus and it was so busy <laughs> it's full of people, it was cramped I have no idea what was going on and on top of that obviously I don't speak the language and I don't know where to stop and the you know good people of Tirana they're very friendly, very helpful they actually helped me told me where the, where the stop to get to the start of the cable car and here I am now, up in the cable car The Daiti Express is the longest cableway in the Balkans It takes about 15 minutes to get you to the top of the mountain and it's a good way to deal with your fear of heights as at one point it goes almost vertical you're surrounded with beautiful sceneries and at the same time trying hard not to faint <laughs> Your bravery will be rewarded with a really nice view of the whole of Tirana once you get to the top of the mountain. I highly recommend doing this when you're in Tirana and that's coming from someone who's scared of heights. The statue commemorates Kanderbeg, the national hero of Albania for assisting the Ottomans. I ended the day with a visit at the Spring Festival just across the Skanderbeg Square. Not knowing that much about Tirana before my visit, I have to say that the city really impressed me. It might not be the richest city I visited, but it's definitely one of the friendliest and the safest. I love their coffee culture and the willingness of the locals to help you out when needed. I'm off really early tomorrow to travel to the mountains in the north of the country, so I will see you there. Kita kids, or as you say in Albania, Shehemi.